This is a look at the new FMI 7.0 for current users to highlight the enhancements. This is our new sign-in page, which has a vertical alignment so that it looks great on mobile devices. You can still recover your username and password if needed, and you can also have it remember you so you don't have to sign in each time. Let's go ahead and sign in. This is the My Sites page, which replaces the My Account page. We've separated your account settings here. You can change your name, check your time zone, also adjust your email options, change your password, and finally, you can attach it to a social network. This will not share any information, however, it will make it easier for you to sign in. You can attach it to Facebook or Google, LinkedIn or Twitter. Let's go back to your My Sites. Here in the center, FMI will post any announcements on changes or enhancements that are coming. On the right, you can join the commuting challenge. It's a fun way to remind you to commute sustainably to work. And on the left, you can see you can organize your sites or create a new site. If you add a site, this is a site you control, you decide who joins it for something else that you do in your life. Let's click on our site to dive in. This bold design has a contrasting dark background with a light center to draw your eye to the content rather than a sea of white. There's a floating menu at the top so you can always get to your settings no matter where you go in the site. And FMI was built on a responsive design that adapts to any screen size. So if you have a mobile phone, you'll see this horizontal menu now becomes a drop down, or a tablet, or a full screen. The top navigation has now been consolidated to a fixed left hand navigation. The add button to add a new workspace has been moved to a plus sign here and is available anywhere in the site. You could also expand your categories and subcategories and if you want to browse all, just click the Browse button here. You'll also see that your profiles are under the People tab, and Tools, which used to be on the right, is now on the left and available anywhere in the site. This is how you can get to your Activity Manager. And the Calendar is also available here on the left. Just click on My Calendar, and you'll see it looks a lot more clean. The navigation here on the right has been moved from the left. And we can also look at this in a mobile view, which is a lot more intentionally robust. Did you know that the icon for your site is actually a secret way to get back to your home page? Now let's go back to the full view. All of your featured items here can be organized by clicking sort and you can drag and drop them to change the order. Also on the right you'll notice is your profile and this is how you can get to your profile page. You can also do this by clicking on your name at the top of the site. And you'll also see all of your upcoming tasks here on the right. Let's go navigate to a workspace. You can do that by either clicking on one of your workspace categories and finding it. You can look at the latest activity down at the bottom of your homepage, or you can type into your expandable search bar. I'll type in the word launch. It brings up marketing launch. This is a workspace for a marketing launch. You'll notice there's a new workspace icon and you can change that or the name and description of the workspace in this actions dropdown by clicking edit. The options column on the left has now been moved to the right so that when you're reading left to right you get to your actions and activity first and your background information second. You'll also notice that email subscriptions has been replaced by follow so two people will get email alerts every time new information is posted on this page. You can also see your filters for latest activity have been turned into icons, messages, files, links, events and tasks and there's a thumbtack next to your topics and a person next to your profiles. So you can use these to more easily filter the content on your page. When you're adding a new message, you'll notice that topics is now a horizontal list which saves vertical space. If I go to the top of the page, we should look at the admin section last. First of all, frequently accessed items are located in a dropdown that you can get to anywhere. And you'll notice that this is a concise set of groups so you can find site setup options together or site management options without looking at such a long list. We'd love to hear from you. Please type in the contact box here and tell us what you think of the new version. Thanks and look forward to hearing from you.